we got to think positively about this whole thing, wearing a mask everywhere. I've noticed two positive things about wearing a mask in the last week. Number one, when you're wearing a mask, you can sing to yourself. And nobody knows that you're singing. They hear this sound, but they don't know where it's coming from. Number two, you can talk to yourself. And not only do people don't know that you're talking to yourself, they don't think that you're crazy. Because to talk to yourself, that's a crazy thing to do. So I've been talking to myself over the last week. And I've been singing to myself too, whilst wearing a mask. We must all remain positive. And there are two positive reasons to wear a mask. Now, we cannot doubt ourselves any longer or kid ourselves. This pandemic is not a run-of-the-mill walk in the park, casual browse through the bottle -o. No, this pandemic is going to hang around for quite some time yet. It's not going to disappear. It's going to be here for quite some time. And this pandemic, it will change the world. The consequence of this pandemic is that the world will not be as it was before the pandemic. Now, the world shall go back to how it was eventually. But when the world goes back to how it was, we shall do things as we used to do things. But our mindset shall have changed. We cannot, we cannot um, change the fact that all of us have been influenced by this pandemic and our mindset has too been influenced. Now, because of these restrictions, we are becoming restricted emotionally, um, physically. Everything is being restricted because of these restrictions. Our view of the world has changed. Because of these restrictions, we are becoming like little camps scattered throughout this earth. At the moment, we Sydney-siders are in lockdown. We people of Sydney are like a little camp. Even within our own country, we have been segregated from everyone else. After the Second World War, the whole world changed as a consequence of the Second World War. The Second World War was such a huge thing that it changed the psyche, the mindset of humanity. And what happened after the Second World War was that countries and nations, they moved away from nationalism and they moved towards what we call globalism. Globalism, the definition of globalism, the operational planning of economic and foreign policy on a global basis. Now, the Second World War ended on the 2nd of September 1945, and what we have on the 24th of October 1945 is the establishment of the United Nations. In 1993, November 1993, we have the establishment of the European Union. So we see the world heading towards a global way of viewing the world. We're no longer nationalistically based, but rather we view the world as being one globe, one people, one community, if you like. And what this pandemic has done is taking, it has taken us away from that globalism, that global way of viewing the world and wanting the world to be. And because of the lockdowns and the segregations that we have um, experienced because of this pandemic, we have gone to a small camp approach towards ourselves and we have retreated from that globalism view. Over time, eventually, we shall return to globalism. But when this pandemic goes, it won't happen overnight. We won't automatically go back towards, you know, globalism, us being one people, one, one, 
one society, one, one world, one globe. We won't automatically go back to globalism. It will take a couple of years, several years, maybe a decade until we heal, you know, from the, um, the sufferings that this pandemic has brought. So eventually we shall return to globalism, but it won't happen overnight. When we do return to globalism, this globalism that we shall return to shall be a whole new globalism. And the reason why it shall be a whole new globalism is because what we have experienced because of this pandemic is something that we have not personally experienced before. We've heard the stories of our grandparents who went through World War II, who fought in World War II. We've heard their stories, but hearing someone's story and actually living someone's story are two different things. So what we have because of this pandemic, we have people like myself, like you, like our next door neighbours, who have not only heard the stories, but they have lived the stories and have experienced the stories. So when this whole thing's over and when we go back to globalism, it's got to be a whole new world, if you like. This pandemic is going to change how we do things. The world will not be as it used to be. At the moment, we're like caterpillars in their cocoons, waiting for the day when we can become butterflies and we can spread our wings. But when that day comes and we can spread our wings once more and travel the globe, it shall be a whole new globalism.